What's up guys, it is the T-Ball and I'm back with another video, so today we're going to be breaking down how Luka Doncic fits with the Cleveland Cavaliers. So before I start, if you want to see more NBA content just like this, be sure to drop a like and subscribe as I do post daily, and also be sure to turn on post notifications so you can stay updated on when my newest video will be coming out. So Luka Doncic is projected to be a top pick in the 2018 NBA Draft. He's been amazing in the EuroLeague and he is arguably the best player in the second best league in the world at only 19 years old. He's 6'8" and plays the point guard position, though he can also play the 2 and 3 as well, so he's very versatile. But I think he's going to be mainly playing the 1 in the NBA, as he has amazing vision and ball handling for a guy his size, and his potential is through the roof. The Cavs have the Brooklyn Nets pick for the upcoming draft from the Kyrie Irving deal, and knowing the Cavs' luck, they'll likely get a top pick. So, say they choose Luka Doncic, let's see how he would fit in Cleveland. So I think what LeBron does this summer will have a big impact on Luka's rookie year. If LeBron stays, Doncic will see less of an opportunity to do a lot of ball handling and playmaking, but he will get much more open looks off of LeBron's passing. Doncic could shoot the three, so he'd definitely be a nice fit playing with LeBron. However, Doncic would still get a good amount of minutes as the main ball handler when LeBron sits. I can see a scenario where Doncic plays with the second unit in staggered minutes with LeBron out, and this would provide the Cavs with a dynamic playmaker at all times throughout the game, as Doncic or LeBron could be on the floor at all times. Luka's passing ability would help give his teammates open looks and guys like Jordan Clarkson and Ronnie Hood would get great looks from three. Pick and rolls between Doncic and Larry Nance Jr. would also be very fun to watch and also be very effective as Larry Nance Jr. is a great finisher around the rim with his tremendous athleticism. Also Doncic would learn a lot from LeBron as LeBron can mentor him and teach him tips and tricks on both offense and defense. I think Doncic would be a great fit with the Cavs and playing with LeBron and all the talent around him would give him a great chance to win a lot of games and also get some potential playoff experience in his first year. On the other hand, if LeBron decides to leave Cleveland, Doncic will have a chance to put up some big stats as the main ball handler and the star on the team. He'll be the focal point of the Cavs offense and should get a lot of shot and assist opportunities. However, without LeBron, he could have some struggles with efficiency as teams will focus in on him on defense and they will have a game plan to specifically shut him down. However, he will likely still have some help around him as the Cavs would still have Jordan Clarkson probably Rodney Hood, Larry Nance Jr., and Kevin Love if he isn't traded. Also, I think Doncic may struggle on the defensive side of the floor at times as he isn't too quick or athletic, though he has great size when he plays a point guard position so he will have an advantage there. I think that combination along with his inexperience as a rookie will make him about an average defender in his first season in the league with a lot of room to grow. Overall, I think Doncic will get a big opportunity and a lot of minutes whether or not LeBron decides to stay or leave Cleveland. He should be in the starting lineup no matter what, and I could see a potential starting lineup of Luka Doncic, Rodney Hood, LeBron James, Kevin Love, and Tristan Thompson next season, or George Hill, Rodney Hood, Luka Doncic, Kevin Love, and Tristan Thompson if LeBron decides to leave next season. Doncic would be a great fit in either lineup, and I think both teams are playoff contenders at the very least. I can't wait to see where Luka Doncic goes, and I think he would be a great fit in Cleveland if he is in fact drafted by the Cavs. So that's a wrap. Thanks guys for watching. If you guys did enjoy this video and want to see more NBA content just like this, be sure to drop a like and subscribe as I do post daily and also be sure to turn on post notifications so you can stay updated on when my newest video will be coming out. Also drop a comment down below on how you think Luka Doncic would fit with the Cavs if he's in fact drafted by them. I'd definitely like to know and I do read all comments and I'll definitely try to get back to most of you guys. So once again, thanks for watching. Hopefully I'll see you guys soon for my next video. Peace.